Hello, welcome to Flower Chase. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to revisit the format that we did a little while ago, like a couple of weeks ago, where we did the top five uh, most viewed videos. Now, we got really good feedback from everyone uh, from doing that, and we thought, this is quite interesting, let's do another one. So we're gonna do our top five wedding videos from Flower Juice. Now, we're not necessarily looking for the ones that have the, the list of best views, but we're looking for the ones that we, we were gonna say were our favorites, but actually when I went through them and we were looking, it is interesting. So I have put them, the ones that we like in order of which ones have been best viewed. So let's get right into it and start with number five. Now number five comes in with our elegant arch of flowers. Now this arrangement, we really wanted to do something big. A lot of our videos, we tend to be tabletop and uh, that really fits the purpose of being in a studio. But we do realize that people quite like big designs and flowery designs. So we wanted to go really big and we thought, you can't go much bigger than an arch. Now, an arch is just a good example of creating an installation that is perfect for a wedding. Um, it can be a full arch, it can be a half arch, it can be just the top. There's lots of different ways of doing it and we really wanted to show how it can be approached. So this arrangement showed something big and we also did another version where we did a foam free version and it got slightly more views than th this one. This one got 12,000 views and we only did it a year ago so uh, hopefully a lot of people will still watch it and uh, get some inspiration from it. So that was in at number five, the elegant arch. And in at number four is basically the flower girl pomanda. Now this is a really cute little option that's ideal for a small child or a small flower girl. They can be made bigger, but I think the spray roses really work well in this type of arrangement because they give a very neat finish and actually it ties in very well with that kind of um, hand-tied bokeh, rose bokeh look where it's quite structured and quite tight format as well. So it matches that very well. Now this video is five years old. It had 14,000 views and we like it because it's, it's clean, it's simple and we think that kids at a wedding would love to carry this. Uh, so that was number four. Number three, I actually thought that this one could have been number one. And this was when we went um, off-site, uh, on location in Hungary to do a small wedding. And it was basically the sister of Janice's wife, uh, Reka. And uh, she was getting married in Hungary in Vesprem. And we went up there and got some flowers and just put together essentially what she needed for the wedding. So this wedding is really not one product, it's actually a wedding set. It shows a bouquet, some corsages, and a couple of thank you items as well. Now this video did really well. It got 127,000 views. We did this two years ago, and um, what was interesting about it was it just shows that we're not always in our same location. So you get very comfortable working in your workroom or in your studio or in your shop and sometimes you actually need to be flexible and be able to do things in a different place. And it's possible, so uh, that's a good skill to have. And we were really happy that this video was popular and that people really liked it. So in it, oh, that was number three. So in at number two then, uh, this is what I really think of when you say, right, a wedding product, and this is a classic shower bokeh. Now we've done a couple, no, we've actually done a few different shower bokehs. Now a shower bokeh is quite a complicated item to make. There's a lot of technique and a bit of skill, and we've tended to concentrate on videos that are about 10 to 15 minutes long. So these videos are slightly longer, um, and that's because that item takes longer to make. So this bokeh, we were very proud of uh, because it was the first time that we'd actually made really a video that was longer than our normal format. And really it is a good teaching video. So this video is really all about technique. It creates a stylish, classic, teardrop shaped uh, shower bokeh for a bride. In this one, we're using callas and we're using roses and the color combination is really actually very nice. 
We did this video five years ago, and in that time it's had 257,000 views. So a lot of people have visited this video and uh, hopefully enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully uh, seen the skill that goes into making this style of bokeh. So um, sometimes people think, oh, it's quite easy, I'll just put something together for myself. And if they've got no experience whatsoever, this is not an item that you're just going to make without any experience. It's something that needs to be practiced in practice. And if you're working in an environment where you're making this style of bokeh quite regularly, it can be done quite quickly and quite efficiently, actually. Um, but you need to know that it's going to be suitable for the job, nothing's going to fall out. And in this video, we show you the techniques that you'll need to be able to achieve that. So that was at number two. So what is number one? Well, I actually thought that number two or number three was going to be at number one. But actually, when I put the, the list together, what's come out on top is this video. And it's the classic wrist corsage. Now, we made this video six years ago. It's had 610,000 views, which is just amazing. It's been so popular. We showed a wrist corsage that basically has a beaded bracelet and we did a wired corsage that's attached to that. And the feedback that we got was that this was really useful because the gluing technique is useful, but when it's for, maybe for like prom event and uh, it, people are being maybe more active than they would uh, at a wedding, then this technique is perfect because it's really gonna, it's gonna hold and it's gonna last. It's not gonna be um, liable to fall off or fall to bits. So using the wire technique is really good. Uh, so this was an early video that we first did not long after we'd started. Um, and what's interesting is that I think we've improved our uh, camera techniques now. We're better at getting some close-ups. But what I discovered, I like to use my iPad more than my phone. And uh, if I'm watching videos on YouTube, what you can do is you can slow them down, you can speed them up, but you can also um, scroll in and enlarge the image. So if you are watching one of our older videos on uh, YouTube and you want to see a little bit more detail and you're using your iPad, then you can slow it down, you can scroll in, just take your fingers and pull out the image and that will enlarge the detail that you want to see. And you can go right in and get a little bit more detail. So that's a little good tip if you're uh, watching something and you want to see a little bit more. I don't know if it works on a phone. I must admit, I really do favor my iPad for um, being online and doing things because it's just, it's just easier to see what's there. Uh, so what do you think? Were these the videos that you would have picked? Uh, let us know in the comments below which ones that were your favorites. And, uh, and tell us why, because we've got quite a lot of videos now. We'd love to know what you're thinking and uh, what your favourites are. Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, then give us a like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps our channel. Um, if you've not basically already subscribed, we'd love you to do that. And even just liking the video does help the algorithms uh, for our channel. So what we'll do is we'll post a video in the description. Now, all the, the, all the links for all these videos are gonna be in the description of this video, but we'll also post one for uh, another video just if you fancy a little bit more inspiration. And uh, that would be great if you could watch that as well. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to support our channel a little bit further, then our PayPal information is in the description as well. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's great that you've all supported us for so long and we've loved making these wedding videos and inspiration videos for you. And uh, until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.